Hey there, it's John with Excel Campus, and in this video, I'm going to share the new Show Changes feature in Excel. So this is an awesome new feature of Excel, especially if you have multiple people collaborating or working on the same workbook. And essentially what happens here is Excel is now tracking all of the changes that you and your users make to a workbook. So here we are on, in Excel online, and this does work on the desktop version. I'll explain some of the limitations there, but we'll jump over to the desktop version in a bit. But here we have this just project planner sheet where we have multiple people working on it. And if we go up here to the review tab and click the show changes button, that's going to open this task pane over here on the right side with a list of changes that have been made to the workbook. And we can also see the user that made those changes. So you can see the most recent change was made by me uh, where I edited this cell on the project list sheet. I edited cell B4. Uh, Nicole deleted a sheet about five minutes ago and deleted another sheet. And then she also made some edits here as well. And with these edits, I'll scroll down to this one here. Here you can see that she edited the project on the project planner sheet, cell G6. And you can see the previous value there and then the new value. So the previous value was 100% the new value is 20%. So not only can you see that she made a change, but you can see what that change is in case you potentially need to roll it back or undo it. And of course you can click any of these tiles here to navigate to that sheet and actually select the cell. So that takes us right there to G6. We can see that new value of 20% and then again, we can change it if needed. So this is extremely helpful. Again, if you have multiple people working on a file, or even if it's just you working on the file and you just want to see the changes you made in the past, you can now do that. Now, of course, these files will need to be stored on OneDrive or SharePoint, and you'll need to have a Microsoft 365 subscription in order to be able to use this functionality. As I mentioned at the beginning, you can also access this, uh, the changes that are made on the desktop version of Excel. So, and the way you do that is you can just edit this file and open it on the desktop app. And of course that will open Excel and then open the file. And any changes you make on the desktop app, you will see back in the web version because I was showing the online or the web version of Excel. Uh, the review tab does not have that show changes button yet here on the desktop version. So you can't see the changes list here, but if I make changes, so I'll just go ahead and make a change here just so we can see how this works. I'll just, uh, make a change. Oh, let's make a change to this cell here. We'll say that's a three instead. And that will, of course, auto save. I'll go ahead and close this file now. We'll jump back over to the web version and resume editing here. And again, we'll go to the review tab, show changes. And here we can see that change I just made to cell C5 from a one to a three. So even though I made the change on the desktop version of Excel, you will still see those changes in the online version of Excel. So even if you're not using the online or the web version of Excel yet, you can go check it out here and open the file here to see the changes. And then one other nice feature of show changes is the ability to filter this list. So you can click this filter dropdown right here and we can either filter by range or sheet. I'll first select range. That will ask me to select the range. So I'll go ahead and select this range here because I know this range has been changed and I might wanna see those changes. And then I'll click the green button and that will just filter the list of changes here for that range only. So if you have a lot of changes in the workbook, it makes it really easy to see the changes for a specific range. You can also do that for a specific sheet by choosing sheet from the dropdown. So I'll just choose project list here. And of course I can select any one of these tiles to jump over to that sheet and uh, select the cell and see the changes that were made on that sheet. And then when you want to see all the changes again, you'll just go here and choose clear filter and that will show you all of your changes. So again, this is an awesome new feature of Excel and Excel online. If you haven't been on Excel online in a while, I encourage you to go check it out. The uh, development team at Microsoft has made a lot of changes in the last few months and years to really bring this closer to the desktop version of Excel. And uh, yeah, if you haven't seen it in a while, go check it out. I'm sure you'll be impressed. And of course we have this awesome new feature as well to show changes. So I hope that helps. Of course, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a comment right below this video. 
And if you're new to our channel, hit the subscribe button and then head over to excelcampus.com slash free to grab our free Excel Pro Tips ebook. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.